Flashcards is a common way for language learners to learn new words. Here are seven ways to help you use flashcards effectively to learn a new language. Tip number one, choose high frequency words. Sometimes it may be overwhelming to learn a language because there's so many new words and characters. However, linguists often say that you only need 500 to 1,000 words to start daily conversations and understand a variety of texts. So if you choose to learn words that are frequently used, you'll learn quicker and get to use it faster. Tip number two, choose high frequency sentences. We learn language because we want to communicate and understand each other's meaning. And language often occurs within sentence structures and in context. That's why it's good to not just learn vocabulary, but learn complete sentences. Also, that will help you to be able to interact with people quicker when you learn everyday phrases that you can use, like, hello, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Or besides learning basketball, you might want to learn the whole Ooh. sentence, like, I like playing basketball. Tip number three, create flashcards with pictures or meaning. Did you know that the brain can retrieve information faster when it's associated with its meaning directly instead of the translation of the word? So try to create your flashcards with the word on one side and picture and meaning on the other. That way your brain will form stronger connections so that you can get the information faster when you need it. Tip number four, active recall. This is a time for you to use active recall to strengthen your memory. Instead of flipping through your flashcards and seeing if you recognize it, test yourself. What's the word in the target language? And see if you can actively remember it. So for example, when you see this duck, do you know the name of it in your target language? Tip number five, use based repetition. Just because you remember a word now with active recall doesn't mean you'll remember it down the road. Here is where spaced repetition comes in to further strengthen your memory muscles. For an overview of what active recall and spaced repetition is, check out my other video. Here's how you can use the Leitner system, which applies spaced repetition to flashcard learning. First, categorize flashcards according to how often you answer them correctly. When you go through your flashcards, move the ones you get right up to the next numbered stack, while moving the ones you get wrong back down to stack one. Review the lower stacks more frequently and the higher stacks less frequently. So for example, your stack one, review it every day. Stack two, review it every other day. Stack three, review every three to four days. Stack four, review every week. And maybe stack five, you can review every two weeks and maybe later, just once a month or just keep it in your backup stash. Just remember to use active recall when you review to really strengthen those brain muscles. Tip number six, limit your cards. Don't overwhelm yourself with a thousand cards at a time. Sort them into batches and keep a stack of 30 to 50 cards so that you get enough review and repetition before you move on to new words. Tip number seven, use other methods too. Flashcards are great, but it can't be your only method to learn a language. Make sure to also learn from the second language acquisition model and use language in context because we learn a language to communicate and understand meaning. And all of that needs to be contextual so that you understand everyday nuances, speaking, reading, listening, watching movies, talking to people, and that will all help your language process. If you like this video and want more language learning tips, don't forget to hit subscribe and the like button. I'll see you later. Bye.